In this video, we're going to learn how to make some op art using the blend tool and some other things. So I'm going to have you all just follow along and then we'll talk about how you can get more creative with this. So first of all, I'd like you to make a nice, large, even circle that is black fill with no stroke. And then once you have that, I want to show you if you go to effect in the top, we have not really played around with this much, if you go to effect and then distort and transform. There's some options here for how you can kind of transform or mess around with a shape. We're going to use zigzag right now, but you're welcome to go experiment with those other options later. So go ahead and hit zigzag. And this zigzag window will pop up. And on the bottom left, you're going to hit preview so you can see kind of what you're, what you're looking at. So right now, you could totally just stick with that shape if you wanted to. But you can also adjust um, the size of those peaks. You can adjust how many peaks there are. You can adjust if they're smooth or curve or sorry or uh, sharp. So just kind of play around with it until you get something you like. And then hit OK. So now it, I just want to show you this because it's something that took me a minute to figure out. If you just do copy and paste because we're going to want to make a smaller version of this. If you do copy and paste and you try to scale it down, let me show you what happens. It's going to get all squished. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing because that can make your artwork interesting. But for the purposes of this tutorial, what I would like you to do is, we're going to delete that, is before you copy and paste it, we're going to have to take away that distort information. And to do that, we're going to go to... Um, object and then expand appearance and that's going to kind of release it from that equation that was tied in to distort it and then we'll just do command c command v so we pasted the same shape in there and it's now it's not doing that crazy adjustment right and we're going to try to make it aligned center with the larger one and we can do that by using our line window if you'd like so under window, there's a line. We can align it vertically and align it horizontally. Good. So now we're going to select all by doing Command A, or you can just click and drag with your selection tool over both of them. And you're going to go to Object, Blend, Make. It will appear as though nothing has happened, but we can see that there's this new little shape that appeared next to my cursor. Okay. Now, we're going to go to Effect, Pathfinder, Exclude. Now, some of you might remember that we've used the Pathfinder window previously, right over here. It's next to the line palette. Um, but what I was finding is that when I tried to hit Exclude, it got mad at me on this palette. So if you go to um, effect Pathfinder and Exclude in the drop-down. It works! I don't know why, but that, that's how it works. So, um, you're going to have to use the drop-down menu for this one. But here we go. Yours might not look like this. Mine looks like this. Uh, if you want to tinker with it now, you would go to Object, go back to Blend, and now we're going to select Blend Options to make this little window pop up. So, once you have this window, you can hit preview again so you can see your changes that you're making as you're making them. And we can use our arrow tool and we can arrow up to add or we can arrow down. Or of course you can manually type in ones too. So this is just telling how many steps there are between the changes. And as you can see, it can be really fun to just add all of them. And this is where we're starting to get this little off art effect happening with our eyeballs. So we can hit OK when you like it. And that's kind of, that's, oh, no, that's not it. There's one more thing. So if you double click on this, you're going to see this little gray bar pops up, which most of the time annoys us, but this is where it's a, where we actually want it to work. Um, and that just allows us to select, um, I forgot what that's called right now. It's eluding me, but um, it allows us to select individual parts. So here I can select this middle part and I can move it off to the side move it over here and I can totally tinker around with how this blend is looking. 
And then if I wanted to make it kind of glitchy, I could actually drag it way off to the side, and then that's, that's what's going to happen. So, um, you know, have fun. Experiment with this for a little bit. Uh, what I do want to show you, though, before um, I turn you loose here is I'm going to have you make a black and white op art piece first, and then we can talk about how you can try to do color, introduce some color. Um, but just to show some other ideas, you can do letters. So the way that I did this one was I used my type tool, and I just typed an M. And then, of course, we remember that we have to turn this into a vector. So if you select it and then go to object, or I'm sorry, type, and create outlines, that will turn it into a vector. So then I made a large one, copied, pasted it, made a smaller one, and just aligned them as such, selected both, did object, blend, make, did effect, uh, Pathfinder exclude and then object blend blend options and then I was able to tinker around with that more too and again this is you know this is a different kind of look here but it can be pretty fun to play around with that so that's another option is to play around with type or text to create your app art um, Let's see, I did a star. This is one where I talked about color. That's kind of another conversation. Um, the color, you have to stick with black and white uh, or just a solid color and white. Unfortunately, you can't do like two different colors. It just, it's not working like that with, with the way that Pathfinder works and everything. Um, and, and blend, because blend is basically gonna wanna try to combine the colors but anyway, it gets complicated. You can play around with it. You're welcome to mess with it. Uh, but we're just going to stick with black and white because it gets to be pretty complicated otherwise. And then we can see here, this was one that I did uh, where the center object is uh, a pentagon, or not a pentagon, sorry, a hexagon. And the outer object was had the crazy flowing lines. So that's kind of where you can play around with having... You know, you could go from a star to a circle, certainly. You don't have to have a circle into a circle. You could have a star into a circle and play around with this stuff. So have fun, be creative, and 